<laughs> All right, let's move to the Big 12. Kansas Jayhawks. Yes. Look like they are once again running away with this thing. Um, I don't know if we've had a chance to talk about it yet, but after seeing what they did to Missouri, after seeing what they did to Indiana, after seeing the way that KJ Adams has emerged, like not only am I saying that I think that they're the favorite to win this conference, not only am I saying that I think that they are um a team that can uh that that can make some noise, like I think there's real repeat possibility with this group. Yeah. Santa. I know. And look, this is coming from a guy that after the Bahamas, I was like, I don't know if this is a top 20 team in college basketball. Oh, oh, I've we know. I completely <laughs> reverse course. I'm Everything I said back then, <laughs> cancel it out, man. That was a dumb take. One of you guys should have slapped me in the face when I said that. How come you didn't? Yeah. That's how, you know what? That's well, how I know did. you guys aren't real friends. Okay. If oh, no, no, no. We, friends, we did. You would have slapped me in the face. We both said you were wrong. <laughs> it's one of the few times we've ever agreed on something, but like, so here's the thing. Is it just me or is Baylor not as good as we thought they would be? They're not, they, they can't guard. Yeah. They're that's, the that's problematic for them. And it's actually, I'm actually surprised by that. I thought for sure that they'd be right there again. I thought last year they, and they, and they still might be for the record. It's, Keon, it's Keontae George. He's special. He is, but he's also the reason they're not guarding. Okay, so then what's happening is you're sacrificing the team for an individual. I wouldn't say that because I, I'm not ever going to put that on Scott Drew. But what I am saying is, is he's still young. He's still very reliant on one side of the floor, and it, he doesn't show that same level of urgency on the defensive end as the re, as his teammates. Uh, so there's, there were a couple of rotations the last time I watched him play where he just missed and not just missed, gloriously missed. So he has to put effort on the right things. And they don't have Chamwa Chachua. Like, in how good of a defender was he? Like, who's that tone setter for them? I don't think they have that. So they're not as good defensively this year. I think that's plain to see. Yeah, so, and, and I think it is worth saying, Fanta, they are still sitting at 8-2. and two. They have a win over UCLA, who when we get to the Pac-12, like, UCLA is really good. They have a win over Gonzaga. They just beat Washington State. Um, they smacked around a good Tarleton Tarleton State team without LJ Cryer and without Adam Flag. Like they'll right. they'll be right there. And they're still sixth in offense. Yeah. Oh, I know. Right. I, I'm I, no, no, no. I, I I'm saying I actually think like I still think they can make the Final Four. But however, I don't think for a top fifteen team they've they've gotten discussed a whole ton nationally. I'm just That's just right. just denoting that. Yeah. Yep. Look, it, Kansas should be the front runner in this league. They are. Jalen Wilson has only elevated his game. Dewan Harris is one of the more underrated players in the country. He's steady. He makes them go. And for me, guys, like, you want to talk about fit? Grady Dick fits them like a glove. I mean, he he has been fantastic in, in every way. And it's almost as if, like, when you don't have elite play at the center position, you better have shot makers. Mm-hmm. And they've got shot makers. And they've they got are it. wide open. Like they are spread out. And Best KJ offensive Adams. technician. Yeah, you have an yeah. elite offensive technician. KJ Adams has evolved. I mean, if, and if Ernest Uday keeps coming on, like that, they could make it to the Final Four. They're the Big 12 front runner. I think that the most interesting storyline in this league, though, heading into conference play is guys, we, we got to talk about it. Like here you have this situation with, with Rodney Terry in Texas where like, it's unpredictable. You yeah. know, will they will they end up being? Will they stay as a top 20 team? Will they stay on that level? I'm I'm not even saying top 10 because I think it's so hard. Yeah, it's and, gonna be impossible. It's gonna be hard. But like my heart goes to the kids. Okay. The players did not sign up for the whole situation. It's horrible. Um, and and I'm curious to see what ends up being the the end result with Chris Beard in Texas and what Texas does and the timing of everything with Texas and how this all ends up. But guys, that's a team on their best day that could beat pretty much anybody. They got they got screwed. Like Beard Beard screwed those guys over. And and you're right. The the kid the people that I feel I I feel bad for some of the staff members that uprooted their family to to kind of buy into this vision that Chris Beard had and um if Texas ends up making a move and getting rid of him then those guys are going to have to relocate their families again, which is never an easy thing to do. Um but I feel worse for the players, you know, because they they bought into this vision from Chris Beard and they just have a limited amount of time. A lot of these guys 
Um, if it doesn't work out for them at Texas, you know, where's where's Tyrese Hunter transferring to? What's Marcus Carr going to end up doing? You know, he's a fifth year guy. Same with Dylan Disu. Like, there's a lot of people that put a lot of trust into Chris Beard, and he uh, he burnt that down. So I I, I feel for him. I Coach feel of for the him. year. I, Coach of the is year, Chris Beard. No shit, no. Who is your coach of the year? <laughs> I like how you very conveniently got that out of there. Um, at this point, uh, Jerome Tang. I was going to say the same thing. Mm-hmm. I was going to say the same thing. His Jerome ability Tang. to turn that. I mean, they're ten and one right now, and their Kim Palm numbers aren't great, but at the same time, they're guarding. They're top mm-hmm. thirty-five in the country defensively on Kim Palm. They have some guys on there, and my, uh, you know what? You cannot escape this one. And I understand Jalen Wilson deserves a lot of credit for Big Twelve Player of the Year. Keontae Johnson needs to be considered a first-team All Big Twelve member. He is shooting 50-50 right now, or if not fifty-fifty, he's right there at it. I like mean, it, this is a guy who p- gave up an insurance policy for a lot of money in order to come back and play, and it is going to pay off. Like, because he has been lights out shooting the basketball, being a go to guy, Marquise Noel. Like, he's another really good player. Naquan Tomlin's been as good as what a lot of people thought, including myself, victory lap. Here it is. And they just continue to play good basketball. There's a lot to be excited for in Manhattan, Kansas. Like, I hope they make it. I would give him coach of the coach of the year in that league. Yeah. That's, that's a brutal, brutal, brutal conference. Um, just to kind of paint the picture for you, on uh, New Year's Eve, they play their first conference game against West Virginia, who was number 17 in Ken Palm's, and, uh, and he would, Ken Palm's ratings. And he's my coach of the year. I think Bob Huggins is going to keep getting this team better. Look out for West Virginia, a team that was finished you wanna, last you wanna hear You want to hear an amazing stat? An yes. amazing stat. We haven't had one Big 12 game yet, so you can't say that playing league games has, been, has inflated the numbers. Kansas State, 10 and 1. Kansas State, we just talked them up. Kansas State, we just said how good they could end up being. They are the last ranked team on Ken Palm in the Big 12. Yeah, it's crazy, man. 50th. 50th. That league, it, it's absurd. And that and it's only going to get better. It's only going to get better. I mean, with with and, the fact that Houston's going to come in that league, the fact that BYU, BYU, but will benefit as a program. Cincinnati guys is asleep. I don't know. I think BYU. I don't know. I think BYU is going to get their brains beat in. No, 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 no. no. You're taking it the wrong. You're taking it the wrong way. Sorry. I'm not saying they're (laughs) finishing in top four. I'm saying those those are good programs. Yeah, you're right. Like you're right. They're not a lot of this realignment in the next five years. In my opinion, we're going to start to get wacky. Do with the realignment of like. Don't start adding teams just for the sake of adding, okay? Don't start adding teams just for the sake of adding. With the exception of UCF, you're telling me that Houston, BYU, and Cincinnati coming into a league isn't a net positive? It might oh, not yeah, be it for is. them. No, it's a, it's and a net I'm not throwing UCF league. out like that. Like the reason being, I, I've long said that UCF is a sleeping <laughs> giant. It's got the biggest, it's got the largest enrollment in the state of Florida. Right. So like, you're, but, like, but I'm I saying think, if that's I think the bottom once, of your league. Yeah. That's the bottom of your league. Yeah. Like yeah. that league, the Big 12 in three or four years could get 10 teams to the NCAA tournament. <laughs> Shit, they could get 10 this year, man. <laughs> they really could. Well, they really could. Not, Think about it. I Iowa State know. has a win over North Carolina. They're the second worst team in that conference. TCU, I know they had that bad loss to Northwestern State uh, that came without Mike Miles and Damian Baugh. They are currently a top 45 team in America. They're 9-1 and of the season. I could see them getting in. Oklahoma, eh, that might be a little bit tough. Oklahoma State, eh, that might be a little bit tough. Those are both top 40 teams, according to Kempom. Like, it's just it's true. the league is insane. And imagine I know, having I know we're not through. about bracketology until later, but right now, uh, you know, look, that league is I, insane. I will say, right, Joe, uh, Joe, no, no, Joe, Joe Lenardi has nine Big Twelve teams in the NCAA. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good luck, guys. Good, good, good. That luck. league's a that league is a terror. All right, what's next? 